All right, guys. So hello, everyone. Um, now meeting me again. Um, with the first lesson of the English proficiency program. Um, so the first lesson here, unit one. Um, we are going to learn about great idea. Yes, yeah, the title of unit one great idea and before we start the unit um, here are some um, learning objectives that um, we are expected to to learn first one past continuous the second one past continuous versus past simple when and while and uh, vocabulary get so you will learn how to use uh, how to form past continuous and how to use it and how to uh, use past continuous and past simple in a sentence using while or using when and use get yeah uh, gets to mean okay so get here um, with the other words to uh, make a different meaning so um, next slide um, you're gonna learn uh, about it one by one and you can follow um, me in the units yeah uh, with your textbook English in mind too okay before we start um, let's do let's learn some of the new words here yeah before we start reading so these are the new words we have um, chewing gum, remote control, uh, roller skate, mouse trap, diesel engine, cooker, dishwasher, and windscreen wiper. This word um, will you will match this word with the picture from A to H. Yeah. So you. Um, let's try to do it by yourself at home you can also use your book yeah to do it so oh, I'm going to move on um, here is the reading section the main reading so you're gonna read and answer the question yeah here the, f the four question yeah what happened when Thomas put a piece of um, pepper rubber in his mouth what did James Harry Atkinson do with his idea who bought uh, Jelfin, Josephine Cole Crutch um, invention first and why did the Dutchman get impatient okay so you're gonna read um, the reading article on your book and answer this four question uh, by yourself. I'm going to move on. Yeah, here is the reading text. Yeah, what did they invent? Okay, let's now discuss the grammar point and this is the review. I'm doing a short, a brief review of past simple if you haven't learned it before. So you can start learning now. So the first we use past simple to talk about actions that happened and completed in the past. Um, chương miền Tây Thái dùng para past simple làm bởi vì ông Pi sẽ cầm phiếu để cắt láng hơi nâng bàn bên trong nơi khung hoạt động cả. Nếu bây giờ dùng thì dùng Pi sẽ cầm phiếu, dùng thì dùng Pi cái giả sáp bài này verb chứng cứ dùng gì dùng para cả mùi mùi nó cứ verb the action okay just like um, the example below I go to the market so I go to the market the verb go is present simple so this sentence is uh, present simple is in present simple and the second sentence I went to the market yesterday is past simple this is the past action Okay, chẳng past action cứ dương sầm đai từ đó uh, verb the verb form here nè. In present cứ go and in past simple went. So go went. Okay, so let's move on. 
Um, so here is the main grammar that we are learning uh, in this unit, past continuous tense. Okay, Jung, um, um, Jung, 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 past continuous tense. อัมเปทันเด้อกันนะยิงยิง okay so look at um, the example first mary anderson and a friend were driving to new york so were driving is a past continuous form were driving here is a past continuous form it's a makeup of um the word ver and the word the verb driving we call ing form okay so um where do we get ver ver we get from the base form the verb be and if we uh, form it into present simple there are going to be there is going to be m is r for present simple and for past simple ver and verse verse and ver for past simple and the word drive we can change the form according to here the best form drive and for present simple we have two form and draw is the past um, form of the verb drive but here we are using it as present continuous, so dry it's become verb ing, driving. Okay, another sentence. Jeffany Cochrane was standing in her cut kitchens. Okay, so was standing here is past continuous. Um, you can try to make... Um, the sentence with a similar form using verse or verb plus verb by ng uh, or we can say make a sentence in past continuous by yourself so you can try to make a sentence um, let me move on to the next slide here is the form the form past continuous form so we have positive form first so um, to create a sentence in past continuous form with the positive sentence you have to have subject plus pass of b plus verb ing so here is uh, the subject pronoun i he she it we use with verse yeah verse and we use they plus ver and plus verb ing okay so um, remember use verse with I first person and third person singular and use um, ver with uh, first person second person and third person for plural okay this is the past uh, positive form let's move to another form it's negative form so to form a negative sentence in past continuous, we use subject plus past, past of B plus not and plus verb ing. So it is it is the same as the uh, positive form, but we just need to add not between uh, B and verb ing. So it becomes I, he, she, it, was not or wasn't is a short uh, form. Yeah, the short form of was not and plus working, verb ing. I, uh, sorry, uh, here we don't have I. Yeah, we have V, U, day plus were not or weren't plus verb ing. Okay, the next one is general yeah, no question and answer. So, uh, in general question, we gonna put pass of B um, in front of the subject. So, verse plus the subject pronoun I, he, she, it plus uh, verb ing working and plus question mark because it's question. So, don't forget question mark. Ver plus um, we, you, they plus working 
and question mark. So in the answer, if you say yes, you need to put subject. Okay. So I'm sorry. Here it's there's some problem here. Yeah. So I should be was. Yeah. I yes I was no I wasn't. Yeah. Uh, yes, he, she, it was, recall, no, he, she, it wasn't, and uh, yes, if we, you, they were, and no, we, you, they were not, recall, weren't. Okay, so this is the um, question and short answer. Um, let's move on to the next. Okay, here is the rule of past continuous. Um, so we use past continuous to talk about action in progress at a certain time in the past. Okay, progress at a certain time in the past. It means that that action is continuing at a particular time in the past. If we talk about the, the past action, it's only happened and it's f after that it finished. But for past continuous, it's an action the same, but that action is in progress. It's happening at a period of time in the past. Uh, for example, I was walking at home. Yeah. Sorry, I was working at home last Sunday. So he, the working, working here, you can work some, you, for example, you work for one hour, two hour, and that working action, that action is um, happening, was happening, sorry. That action was happening during the, that time, that period of time. For example, you, you were working from 9 a.m. to um, 11, so it's two hours. Yeah, so this action we call past continuous action. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, it's the practice here. You can scan the QR code. Uh, I have designed the two practice in uh, past continuous uh, to, yeah, for you in order to practice the form, yeah, the use of uh, Past continuous. The two practice here. So scan the QR code and practice it. Okay, this is the pronunciation. Um, you can try to listen to how uh, verse and verse in pronoun, whether it is weak or it is uh, stress. So scan this QR code to listen to it. Also, were and weren't, yeah, when it is stressed, when it is uh, uh, weak, or where it is weak, yeah. Uh, try to notice when you are listening to the, uh, the pronunciation, yeah, the audio. Okay, okay, this, this is another listening. Um, so... Read the beginning of the science fiction story and answer the question. This is the beginning of the of the story, and after that, listen to the rest of the story and and check your idea. So you, I hope that you are going to do it at home. Yeah, don't skip any um exercise because when you do it, you can learn more. Okay, let's um, do another grammar activity. Uh, past continuous versus past simple. So here, we gonna compare when do we use past continuous and when do we use past simple. Um, let's look at the example. As they were getting near the earth, four of the spaceship caught fire. Okay, here we can see that we use two tenses in one sentence okay we were getting is the past continuous form and caught here is a past simple form 
Okay, so let's um, answer the question which even tell us the background action and which even tell us what happened at the moment, at one moment. As we can see from um, this example, we can see that past continuous tell us the background of action. What happened first? Yeah, what happened first? So, as they were getting near the earth, happened first, and another event happened after that. Um, four hour, sorry, four of the spaceship caught fire. So in the process, I mean, in the process of getting up, of landing on the earth, four sp spaceship caught fire. So this means that past continuous, we used to describe the background of action, and we use past simple to say that what happened yeah at that moment at one particular moment yeah so you can see here um, this yellow uh, bar is the progress action of um, yeah an act of an event and during that maybe four of the species caught fire at this uh, time period that at this moment or can be at this moment or at this moment yeah so during that in that in that even so we can say past continuous is the background of action okay next rule okay now let's have a look at the rule of past continuous and past simple um, we use past continuous for action in progress in the past we can use it as a background of action or or as the description another one use the past simple for an action that happened one particular time and complete it okay so um, now look at the example i was driving to school this act this action is in progress yeah we only talk about one action only but the other one i was driving to school when i saw my old friend so when you you drive you may you may drive from home to school but in the process of um of going to school you may saw um your old friend at somewhere on the way to school so this means that um, past continuous is the background of action and saw your old friend is in ac an action that happened at one particular moment okay another one for this um, example that is in red while i was driving to school it is not a complete sentence it's a fragment we call it fragment it's a piece of sentence it is not a complete sentence so we call it fragment in the grammatical uh, term another one while i was driving to school and then we have comma i saw my 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 old friend so this um I'm trying to use while and when in in this uh, 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 sentence. It is it has the same meaning. It have this. It has the same meaning. I'm sorry. They the two sentence have the same meaning, but I just use a different. Uh, the first sentence I use when yeah when plus uh past simple i use while plus uh, past continuous but when i use while i need to put comma yeah because i use while at uh, the beginning of the sentence also this one it i can also use when at the beginning of the sentence and i also need to use a comma after this clause Okay, so we will talk more about when and while in the next um, slide.
slide maybe okay so after um, you learn the rule you learn as how to use it um, in the previous slide now um, let's practice this exercise yeah by yourself okay okay now we learn to use when when and var so as this example that I have uh, I just give I just get uh, in in the previous slide uh, we can see that we use when with the past simple and use var with past continuous here is um your so we let's let's make uh, sentences using when and while i can have two uh, sentences here yeah while i was driving to school i saw my old friend or i saw my old friend while i was driving to school so you can uh, put while uh, uh, the class here yeah while i was uh, driving to school uh, at the beginning or at the end yeah at the beginning or at the end but if you put it at the end you need to come right after that class okay another one i was driving to school when i saw my old friend when i saw my old friend i was driving to school so the four sentences here have the same meaning okay okay this is the practice um you gonna complete the Sentence put one of the verbs in uh, to past simple, okay, and one into past continuous. So you learn already. After you've put um, past simple and past continuous um, together, and after that you're gonna join two sentence by using when and var. And when you join the two sentence here. Um, you have to remember that we use when with past simple and while with past continuous. Okay, so let's practice at home. Okay, vocabulary here. Vocabulary um, gets so the verb gets have has different meaning. Um, it can uh, possess the meaning arrive, receive, and become. So three meaning for gets. But uh, let's look at how we uh, how the meaning change. Look at this sentence. Write the meaning of uh, "got" in each sentence. So "got" is a past simple form of "get." Okay. So for example, he got a little impatient. So a little uh, "got" he got here means he became. So he became a little impatient. And number two, the Wright brothers got the idea for building a fly in machine from watching birds. So, got the idea here means that receive the idea, have the idea. Yeah, got here means receive. Yeah, receive the idea. Yeah. And the third sentence, only one of the spaceship got to the earth. So, got to the earth here in this sentence, got here mean arrive, yeah, arrive to the earth, arrive to the earth. And sentence number four, Thomas Adams got the juice from Michigan sapodilla, sapodilla trees. So, got the juice here got here means receive receive okay so these are the three meanings of get okay so you're gonna learn how to use get more yeah by yourself because it changed uh, the meaning different meaning yeah okay another reading um, text yeah read the other call and choose the best title for it so these are the three best the three title and you're gonna choose one of the titles for um, this reading so do a reading text read it carefully um, try to um, answer or to give the best title to the article okay
let's continue okay also read after you read um, that one you can answer this question yeah okay mm -hmm. okay and the last um, section here is the um, writing exercise yeah writing skill you're gonna learn how to write uh, what something about um, invention okay um, but because of this is um, somehow is not really um, applicable I think for you so I ca I'm gonna skip it or you can do it you can tr um, do this exercise to understand okay read the Alex story about invention and answer the question what is the name of the invention and who invented okay why is it good why is it a good um, invention and when and how did the inventor get the ideas and match the question about with the paragraph so we have three question and we have three paragraphs so read the story and try to answer this question okay um, this is some expression so learn the, learn this expression I'm going to write about what why do we use this expression yeah here I'm going to write about uh, this expression it can tell you how to start the paragraph how to start your writing okay and the man who invented first so this expression to tell who is the inventor okay you can tell the name you can tell um, a name of person and got the idea okay notice start a factory I think it's useful because so this is to give your opinion and give the reason about your opinion okay so learn um, more from this um, um, writing text okay okay so after that you can try to do a homework here write a story about an invention if you know you want you know or you can do a research on the internet about who invented and then try to try to make your own words write a three the three short short paragraph like uh, the tech uh, like story okay to 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 practice your writing skill okay and this is the re the summary of what we learned today so we learn about past continuous. Here is the form how to make past uh, how to make a sentence using past continuous. So we are gonna use um, subject plus verse verb and plus verb ing or verse verb and plus verb ing. Here is called past continuous form. Okay, I use with verse. Here she it with verse, and you with a verb okay and past continuous we use it with vials it's it is used to talk about background action in passing poll used with when it's talk about one action that happened at one particular time in the past okay and that's all for um, today lesson unit one great idea and if you have any question that if you don't understand any point after you watching if you are watching this uh, video you can comment on uh, the comment or you can ask me directly to explain more on some point some particular point that you are not sure so that I'm going to try my best to explain you so thank you for watching see you in the next video